All right, okay. Okay. So I don't know what this shit is. I don't, I don't know what this debate thing is. I don't know. It's not on that no video or nothing. But this was an interesting comment that I got. Okay. And let's let's read it. I mean, okay, cool. All right, so the definition of mentally ill, which most makes... Okay, let, let me... I'm, I want to make sure this shit. The definition of mentally ill, which most mixed race people with bad neurotic genes turn up as... Never forget that race and IQ science proves that some people are inherently better, that anti-racism and anti-white is evil, that some groups are inherently better and more pleasant to look at. Don't race mix or you'll get something an enemy to humanity. Bad genetics are always bad, no matter what. Um, I mean, I don't know. Maybe this is the dude who's been, been watching my videos or something. Um, I'm not sure. I'm sure to talk about. I don't know. Maybe I don't seem mentally stable. I mean, I'm, I'm gonna go right off the bat. I ain't gonna front. I don't know what neurotic means like that off the top of my head. But, <laughs> but okay. Well, um, my Cuban grandpa, he's fucking criollo. He's he's fully Spaniard and he has schizophrenia. So and and you know my my other grandpa is you know Ecuadorian. You know he's forty four percent Native American and um. The rest European, I think one percent Middle Eastern too. But yeah, the point. But he has you know a white mom and you know a brown dad, cholo and mestizo dad, whatever. And he's fine. He's fine. He's older and he's doing better. And mentally, he's totally they all there, you know. So um, I, I don't, I don't, I don't think. I don't know what the dude was trying to say, but no, nah, I mean being mixed race don't mean that you mentally ill. I mean that's. That's wild. You calling like what all Latinos and all well like African Americans like mentally ill? Nah. Well almost all, you know. Check check out my baby sister's dad's DNA results. He um his dad was fully African, Gullah Geechee. But um what what I'm getting at is um I don't know, fuck yeah, maybe if I'm mentally ill, that's me, you know. If I if I'm if I'm mentally ill, that's me, you know, that that don't that, that don't gotta do shit with all mixed race people. And, um, I just like this comment. It was funny, um, an enemy to humanity. But you can tell dude's serious, like, um, I don't know. I mean, these racist ass white folks, you know, like, I I don't feel like an abomination for being mixed. I don't, you know, but this, this is what I'm talking about. Thank, thank you so much for commenting. You see, this is why, this is what I'm saying. You know, this, this is a real white person and I appreciate his comment. Because, you know, his opinion matters, you know. White opinions matter on shit like this. So, um, you know, I'm mixed race. I'm mixed race. I don't consider myself a fully white person. And neither do this white person. So, God bless him. Thank you so much. And, um, I, I mean, the con- he, he's speaking his mind. And I love that, you know. Even if I don't agree with him, he better than all you pussy ass folk who be leading your comments and, you know, not expressing how you feel. Although I don't agree with the dude, I ain't going to censor him. Second of all, I don't know what this whole debate shit is. I don't know. This must be a new feature. I don't like new YouTube. I miss late twenty, late two thousands, early twenty twenty YouTube. But yeah, um, there, there's a comment right there that was mad interesting. And um, yeah, sh- shout shout out the boy, uh, Slifer Spoons. Sh- shout out shout out the boy. I just got this right now. I didn't know what this whole debate shit was. I just jumped to the comments, and I found this. But that's what's up. Thank you so much for your for your input. And um, I just replied with like, I'm screaming, I think, or something like that. I yeah.